I was diagnosed with PCOS at the age of 17 years old. My PCOS symptoms are irregular period, excessive hair growth at my chin, my navel, my leg, and my upper lip, bloating, fatigue, sleep difficulties, and definitely weight. My problem with weight really started in 2012 after I sobered up from my addiction from 49 kgs to 130. Growing up, I have always been a very big and tall girl in school and um, despite playing football, basketball, volleyball, netball or even joining the track team, I could never find myself to be lean or or even fit like the other girls. Being in an Asian community, it was very difficult for me to deal with that because a girl my age and my size at that point in time wasn't accepted in, well, wasn't accepted in society. In the media, they portrayed people like Paris Hilton or uh, Nicole Richie. So I got into drug addiction due to my weight problem. I was suffering with major anxiety and depression. Mainly because, you know, after gaining so much weight, up to 130 kilos, the fact that I had to deal going out in society, it came to a point where I was embarrassed to go out. It was tough because I felt that my whole life has crumbled on me and it's all my fault. And every day I would feel so much pain, I would go through migraine, I would go through bloating, I would be constipated for weeks, I would be confused, I'm in and out of the doctor's room trying to find a reason of why I'm this way. I tried hypnotherapy, I became an addict to sugar because I couldn't understand why I wasn't able to control my craving. I can switch my mood from like happy to angry in a matter of a millisecond. It was horrible. I was very difficult to be friends with at that time. Or maybe still now, but maybe now better. But I was very difficult then. And I couldn't even understand what was what I was feeling. When I was angry, I was so angry. Like when I was sad, I was so sad. I was so sad. Like, I'm extreme on every spectrum of emotions. So being friends with me was very difficult and they started isolating me, started pushing me aside. And what that does is I fell back into depression. You know, because here you are not understanding why you feel the way you do and then they, there they are not understanding you and just pushing you aside because they can't they don't have the time or day to listen to you or to even find out i mean you know how you can't even blame them like how what are they supposed to do to even start finding out the problem with us or with me let's be honest the society isn't kind to people who probably don't understand their own disease and can we blame them maybe we can a little bit, you know, but but for most part, can you really blame people for not understanding the disease that you don't understand either? My doctor explained PCOS to me by just telling me to ensure I always watch out for my weight and everything else will be fine. The doctor prescribed me birth control pills that, that she said could help regulate my period but I hated the way it made me feel. My bloating got worse. I think water retention was bad. My mood swings were off the chart. It was so difficult for me to live that life because when I was bigger and I went back to the doctor, they kept telling me to lose weight. That's all they kept telling me. Like, look, your hormones is not well. Uh, your hormone is imbalanced. You need to lose weight. If you lose weight, you'll feel better. If you lose weight, you'll feel better. And that's what kept ringing in my head. Why couldn't there be any other solution? I couldn't understand the, the diagnosis that, that was coming out. When I was first diagnosed in the doctor's room, it was mentioned that I, there's a possibility of me being infertile. That affected my marriage in ways that if I think about it now, I bloody well hated it because I was pressuring my husband I was telling him that you know we have to do scheduled sex I pressured him so much that it impacted his 
mental health and physical being. It was so horrible. And he was there every step of the way just supporting me with actually no qualms. And I would I would be so brutal, I would be so aggressive to him because I was so scared. And it wasn't until uh, it wasn't until our miscarriage that I had this realization that I was just too tough on him, not because he wasn't performing, but it's because of my own fear. I do hope that the doctors will have a different approach, a softer approach for PCOS, just like how a doctor would handle a cancer patient. I don't think doctors will handle a cancer patient by telling them that your end game is that you're going to die. It's about giving them that hope, that, that light at the end of the tunnel, so women with PCOS know that they can keep fighting a good fight rather than fighting for no reason and for just, for no end. I only found out what worked for me, perhaps last year after my miscarriage uh, in August. That was also because my pregnancy at that point in time made me gain three to five, oh, sorry, five kilos in a matter of two weeks and I didn't understand why. But after the miscarriage, I told myself that in order for me to have a child in my body, then my body has to be healthy. I decided to try dairy and gluten free. And it worked. And it's not even a treatment. It's just a lifestyle change. It works beautifully for me. I've lost 14 kilos. Um, of course, that is, that is with working out five times a week. But I've done working out five times a week back then. I even did working out twice in a day and it still didn't work for me. I only gained more weight. But this time, the difference is that this time I knew what was my root problem and it was my PCOS and I'm an insulin resistant type and that if I trigger my stress hormones, my cortisol will rise and that would start that would make me store more fat instead of burning it. So, yeah. Really, at the end of the day, I have to share that it's not a treatment that works for me. It's just a lifestyle change. I know some of you ladies struggle with PCOS alone. Maybe your family don't understand you. Um, maybe your partner doesn't understand you or don't even want to understand you. But from my experience, it is so important to have someone to support you in your journey. Polycystic ovary syndrome is such a complex disorder. And you would be going through so many different stages of PCOS that it can get overwhelming for you if you are alone. And this is why we have created a community because we feel that support is so important for women to grow and be empowered so they could manage their symptoms well 